Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to take a look at the Era 3 tank destroyer, the CATTB Thumper. For those of you short on time, here are my quick thoughts on the Thumper. It's not game breaking and it will not ruin Era 3. It's listed as a tank destroyer, but really it plays more like a medium with a slightly longer reload, slightly longer aim time and much higher alpha. The hull armour won't protect you at all, but the front of the turret is capable of bouncing anything that's heading its way. It feels like a medium crossed with a tank destroyer, um, it, but it doesn't really fit either role, so my honest quick sort of opinion on this is it's not something I've ever really had to deal with before this kind of combination so this is unique and if if that sort of thing is appealing to you if something unique is appealing to you then go ahead get the uh, get the 2000 gold season pass minimum grind out all 100 levels and you'll get the thumper at level 100 okay so let's 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 dive into the details of the thumper a little bit more its standard rounds come with an average of 854 millimeters of pen, 700 alpha, it's got 3750 hit points, and with my equipment set up, it'll max out at 70 kilometers an hour. Its view range is 583 meters, and finally, its concealment is 431. So, it has the gun of a tank destroyer, the concealment of a heavy the turret armour of a top era heavy, and the hull armour of a medium. This tank is all over the place. <laughs> and as a result of that, you you may find that your game results will be all over the place as well. You can pull off some amazing games in this thing, but in other games it can be very difficult to make it work because it's so... It can be a bit fickle, I find. I mean, it, because it doesn't seem to work particularly well in any one given role, for me anyway, it can be a bit hit and miss at times. So, for this tank to work, I think it needs to be played cautiously because you don't have the armour, and you can push aggressively if you have the support with you. I think this tank is pretty cool, and... I'd like to think that the release of this tank is Wargaming learning its lesson from the FV-4211. On paper, this tank looks like it will dominate in every single fight it gets into, and I know that before this tank release there was a lot of discussion about, oh dear, you know, what's going to happen to Era 3, this tank is ridiculous, it's just going to take over, it's going to be another FV, but in all honesty, based on my experience playing it, I don't think that's going to be the case because while, like you just saw there, you can put out immense damage, you can take damage just as easily and keep in mind, you've got a 9 second reload, roughly a 9 second reload, and everything else reloads almost twice as fast. So in the time that you've done 700 damage, 750, um, any other heavy, a 2A5, an Abrams, will have likely been able to put two shots into you. And if you're not hull down, those shots are going to go through and do maximum damage. So, in my opinion, I think this is actually quite well balanced. The soft stats of the Thumper make it quite appealing as well, though. Despite the relatively low DPM of 5,159, again with my crew and equipment setup, the Thumper comes with a 65% silver boost, 10% tank XP boost, 10% crew XP boost, and a 5% free XP boost. The two to note here are the silver boost and the free XP boost. Most Era 3 tanks have a 3% free XP boost, so having a 5% boost in Era 3 is actually quite significant. And we've won this game, 
Took some, took a fair bit of damage that game though. So you know I wasn't playing hull down. My hull was exposed, but we managed to finish third place. One kill, six thousand six hundred seventy six damage, and I did have a two times silver boost on. So two times mixed with the sixty five percent boost gave me four hundred eleven silver. That's pretty good for an era three. I know those numbers are sort of fairly typical for era two. But Era 3, we're, we're getting into new territory here in Era 3. So that's the silver. But yes, the 5% free XP boost, that's rare in Era 3. So if you're interested in having more free XP in Era 3, some people may be interested in that. If you are, then the Thumper is a good one for you. All in all, and I'll summarize here, this isn't too bad. When we look at things, we we'll take a step back and we look at things. The Thumper really isn't that bad, and for a maximum price of 6,000 gold, I mentioned earlier 2,000, you can spend 2,000 gold on the regular season pass, which means you have to play all 100 levels, or you can get the ultimate season pass, which will give you the Avery, and it will give you the Thumper, plus 25 levels. That's up to you. 2,000, 6,000. You can get the Thumper for either price. And given this is an Era 3 Heavy, that is that's a bargain in my opinion that is a very very good price for an era 3 premium that really isn't too bad so would i recommend this tank i yes i would i i would wholeheartedly recommend this tank to anybody that is interested in getting into era 3 i know some people are put off by the cost of era 3s the modules the guns they're very very expensive and you might not be interested in playing that grind so this is a very very good way for people to experience era 3 in a tank that really isn't that bad given it's essentially almost being given away for free to us all because 2000 gold 6000 gold is a tiny tiny percentage of what an era 3 premium would normally cost so just for that on its own it is absolutely worth it okay folks that's about all i have for this one if you've enjoyed this video please leave it a like if not a dislike don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always hope you're all keeping well and i will see you out there